sports world is mourning the loss of an NBA giant. Boston Celtics legend and civil rights activist Bill Russell has died. His family announced the news on social media, calling Russell the most prolific winner in American sports history. NBC's George Solis has a look back at the life and legacy of the sports icon. There's a difference between being proud and having pride. It wasn't just because of his height that Bill Russell towered over everyone else. He was a force to be reckoned with, both on. The only really important thing was try to win every game. And off the court. You know, I was here when Martin Luther King made that speech. Decades after retiring, he still dominates the record books with more championships than any other player in any sport. Two NCAA championships, one gold medal, and an astonishing 11 NBA titles in 13 years with the Boston Celtics. Kuzi in the lane, Russell, dunk. Winning the last two as the team's coach, the first black coach in any major U.S. sport. He used his stature as one of the first black superstar athletes to fight for change. In 1961, boycotting a game after he and his black teammates were denied service at a restaurant. He also participated in the March on Washington in 1963. In the audience, as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. delivered his I Have a Dream speech. For us that were deeply involved, the changes were very slow. Moments highlighted by President Barack Obama in 2011 before awarding Russell the Presidential Medal of Freedom. And I hope that one day in the streets of Boston, children will look up at a statue built not only to Bill Russell the player, but Bill Russell the man. Two years later, that would become a reality. NBA Commissioner Adam Silver called Russell the greatest champion in all of team sports. Magic Johnson saying he is heartbroken over the passing of the greatest winner the game of basketball has ever seen and friend and mentor of the last 30 years. His family said he passed away peacefully, his wife at his side. Bill Russell was 88 years old. Uh, wow. Reverend Al, um, it's hard to actually talk about uh, and and adequately describe the impact that Bill Russell had not only sports, but on culture and the civil rights movement. Tell us uh, his lasting legacy. One would have had to grow up as I did uh, my preteen years in the 60s to understand the impact of Bill Russell, because first he became uh, the first time we saw somebody win that much that looked like us. We're talking about a time mm -hmm. uh, that you did not see black role models on television as often as you do now. And there was no social media. And this guy kept winning. He was excellent. But then at the same time, he would take that celebrity stature to the causes. He didn't uh, write a note about Martin Luther King. He marched with Martin Luther King. When Muhammad Ali stood up against the war in Vietnam and refused to be drafted, Bill Russell stood with Jim Brown and went to Cleveland and met with Ali. And you have to remember, he's playing from Boston, one of the most segregated cities in the North. Yeah. We talk about the South. Boston was not a place that you wanted to do that. Bill Russell had courage, and he would stand. And I believe that it, it, the lending and the giving of his stature uh, would certainly help the civil rights movement in many ways that we could never uh, estimate. When I, I got older, a teenager, and I was in rooms where he was, I was just awed. And the last time I saw him, uh, he was going in the White House for one of the last events uh, for President Obama. And I still was awed uh, because he represented not only a winner on the court, he represented one that stood up for social justice. You have a lot of guys now that do it by tweeting and they get uh, uh, some likes on social media. There was no tweeting mm -hmm. and he didn't do it to bring attention to himself. He went to the guys like Ali, like Dr. King, that he pushed them out and supported them. He was one kind of a person. He, he was incredible, obviously, one of the greatest, if not the greatest basketball player. If you just look at all the achievements, uh, all, all, all the, the trophies, um, hard, hard to life. put anybody next yeah. to him. But uh, uh, let's underline, Jonathan Lemire, your Boston guy, let's underline just how difficult it was for him to play basketball in Boston 
in the 60s uh, in an extraordinarily racist environment. Here's some of his words I just found. Uh, the number one paper was the Boston Herald, and they didn't like the idea of an NBA team having black players. Uh, out there, the star was Bob Cousy, no matter what I did. Cousy was a star. I remember I had a game where I had 25 points, 25 rebounds, 10 blocks, and the Boston Herald wrote that I was lucky to play for Cousy. And he said he didn't even bother with Boston fans when I was a star. The fans called us the Boston Globetrotters because the Celtics had black players. I mean, the, the, the country was such a different uh, uh, place at that time uh, in the 1960s. Uh, and Boston was such a different place. Uh, and the thing that I, I loved about just reading about uh, and, 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 and hearing about Bill Russell in his heyday in the in Boston and just listening to him in interviews afterwards is he just didn't put up with anybody's BS. He he was his own man. He was tough. He was a champion. And if white people in Boston didn't like it, he really couldn't care less. He he put his head down. He did his job, and he was a he was defiant on and off the court. But he was also a civil rights hero, extraordinarily constructive. Yeah, Russell not shy about how difficult it was to play in Boston during that time. The Celtics, a very progressive organization, first team to have an all-black starting five, first team to have a black head coach, that was Bill Russell. But the city itself lagged behind, and it was good to see uh, in recent decades Russell's relationship with the city be repaired. He would start traveling back to Boston, going to games, re-embraced by the community. Uh, but he made it clear that he still felt those wounds. And he was, I mean, the greatest winner in team sports 11 out of 13 years he won a championship as a member of wow. the celtics he did it with defense and rebounding didn't always need to score that's not how he played the game he was an unselfish teammate and then a good coach uh, but even more than a basketball legend uh, a civil rights icon too who really stood with people and in his later years really took pride was happy to talk to people to, he was very generous